art friends today is day number one of our three-dimensional Van Gogh um, flower design so today you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil I'm using a black marker so you can see what I'm doing but you use a pencil in case you make a mistake your paper needs to be vertical today which means up and down all right you're gonna draw what I draw for today let me get rid of this other paper Okay, the first thing that you're going to draw is we're going to draw the flower pot. So towards the middle top of your page, we're going to go ahead and make a straight line that comes across. We're going to draw a line that comes down and down. We're going to come in and in. And remember, if I'm going too fast, friends, pause the video or rewind it, okay? And then we're going to come down, 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 almost to the bottom of your paper. Same thing over here. Down, 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 almost to the bottom of your paper. Okay? And then we are going to come down, straight down, straight down, and across. All right? So we have started our flower pot. And we're being inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. So on his flower pot, he has like this curved line that goes across. All right? Um, we are going to go ahead and make the line for our table. All right, that's called overlapping. Remember, the face is blocking part of the table. One thing is covering up something else. All right, now we're going to go in and we're going to add some stems for our flowers. We're not going to make our flowers today. That's going to be part of our three-dimensional piece. But I want you to go in and I want you to make three different size stems. They don't have to be exactly where mine are, but I want you to do three of them. And you can add as many leaves as you want. And then if you decide later on after you see what we're doing, if you want to add more, you can. Okay, um, what you can do today before we stop the video is you can trace over your pencil with a black marker, black crayon, black uh, pen, something black. And then what you can do is you can color in your stems green and you can color in your flower vase. When you go to do your flower vase, I want one top to be one color, the bottom to be another color, and then your table to be a third color. All right. Um, do your table a color that is not realistic. All right. So orange, pink, purple, green. All right. Remember our rule about coloring. Hide the paper when you color. All right. This whole area is the table and it's going to be one solid color, whatever you decide. And then, remember what I said, um, one piece of your flower pot, one color. So this whole space, I'm going to scribble, scrabble, but it'll look nice in my example, will be blue. And then maybe the top of mine will be um, pink. All right. Your wall will be a third color. Or so actually fourth color one two three and then wall will be a fourth color do a color that you haven't used already and do a color that is not realistic so I'm gonna do another color green all right and it'll be that whole space around your flowers all right mine will look finished in the next video keep up the good work bye friends